वेलकम टू अभिव्यक्ति इंडिया फ्यूचर क्लास रूम इन टूडेज एपिसोड ऑफ न्यूमेरिकल एबिलिटी रेशियो प्रपोर्शन पार्ट थ्री वी आर गोइंग टू सी फ्यू मोर क्वेश्चन ऑन द सेम टॉपिक हियर इज द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑन द स्क्रीन दैट रुपीज ट्वेंटी एडेड टू एज शेयर and rupees 25 subtracted from b's share then the ratio of their shares becomes 4 is to 5 if the total amount is rupees 2165 find h share from the h share 20 rupees is added and 25 is subtracted from b's share and then the ratio of their share becomes 4 is to 5 if the total amount is rupees 2165 then we have to find its share since 20 rupees is added and 25 rupees is subtracted it means only 5 rupees is subtracted from the total and therefore the total 2165 will become minus 5 is equal to 2160 now this ratio becomes 4 is to 5 it means the total parts will be nine parts of 2160 out of these nine parts four parts will go to a and five parts will go to b so the nine parts of 2160 will be equal to 2160 divided by 9 and out of that h part will be 4 so multiplied by 4 so if you solve this we get 9 1 the 9 9 2 the 18 and 9 the 36 and 9 0 the 0 so it will be 240 into 4 that is equal to 960 but in this 960 20 rupees is added and so we will have to subtract that 20 rupees so h share will be 960 minus 20 and therefore h share will be 940 rupees now the b share is what five parts out of nine parts so b's share will be equal to 2160 divided by 9 that we actually get 240 so we will directly use that 240 multiplied by five parts so that is equal to 5 0 0 Five four that twenty carry on two five two that ten and two twelve so it will be one thousand twelve hundred rupees. But since twenty five is subtracted from it, we will have to add that twenty five rupees to get its actual share. So one thousand two hundred plus twenty five that will be equal to one thousand two hundred and twenty. so b share will be rupees 1225 you can calculate b share in other way also that total is 2160 minus h share that is 940 and if you subtract it you get it as to 1225 but here you need not to add 25 rupees because we are Uh, subtracting the actual share of a from the total amount 
द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज ए बी एंड सी टुगेदर अर्न रुपीज थ्री हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी थ्री दे स्पेंड एटी पर्सेंट एटी फाइव पर्सेंट एंड सेवेंटी फाइव पर्सेंट रिस्पेक्टिवली ऑफ देअर इनकम इफ द रेशियो ऑफ देअर सेविंग इज सेवन इज टू सिक्स इज टू नाइन देन फाइंड देअर इंडिव्यूजल इनकम हियर ए बी and c have total income of rupees 333 they spend 80% 85% and 75% and their saving ratio is given 7 is to 6 is to 9 since they spend 80% it means a saves 20% B saves 15 percent and C saves 75 percent. And this ratio of saving is given as seven is to six is to nine. Once again, C A spends 80 percent. It means A saves 20 percent. A B spends 85 percent. It means he saves 15 percent. And C spends 75 percent. It means he saves 25 percent, not 75. So he saves 25 percent. And this ratio of saving is given as seven is to six is to nine. Now A saves 20 percent. It means what? When his income is 700 rupees, he saves 20 rupees. Means he saves 20 rupees. That time his income is 100 rupees. So when he will save seven, what will be his income? So here we multiply these two and divide by the first one. So you get 100 into seven. Divided by twenty, so zero zero will get cancelled. Two five is a ten, and seven five is a thirty five. So it will be thirty five. The same way, B saves fifteen percent means when he saves fifteen percent, his income is hundred percent. So when he saves six parts. What will be his income? So it will be a hundred into six divided by fifteen. So that you will get as sixty. Same way for C, you will get it as thirty-six. So their income ratio will be thirty-five is to sixty is to thirty-six. And this total will be hundred and eleven. So the total part will be hundred and eleven, and the total income is three hundred and thirty-three. Therefore, eighth share will be equal to three hundred and thirty-three. This total amount is divided into hundred and eleven equal parts. Out of that, thirty-five parts will be of A. So multiplied by thirty-five. So this will be three. So it is thirty-five into three, that will be equal to rupees hundred and five. So H share will be hundred and five. Now B share will be B share, that will be equal to. Of course, this hundred and eleven part will be three. So three multiplied by sixty. Which is equal to one hundred and eighty, and C's part will be three into thirty-six, which is equal to one hundred and eight, and therefore A's share will be one hundred and five, B's share will be one hundred and eighty. And C's share will be one hundred and eight. Here is the another question: A certain sum of money is divided among A, B, and C. 
such that for each rupee A has, B has 65 paise and C has 40 paise. If C's share is 8, find the sum of the money. Here, a certain sum is divided among A, B and C. And A, uh, in such a way that for each rupee, each rupee means 100 paise, B has 65 paise and C has 40 paise. So their ratio is 100 is to 65 is to 40. So this ratio is 20 is to 13 is to 8 and this total is 41 parts. And since out of 41 parts, C has 8 parts, but if C's share is also here given as 8, so the total amount or the sum of the money should be equal to 41 rupees 41. So the total amount is rupees 41. Divide rupees 2430 among A, B and C such that if their shares are diminished by rupees 5, rupees 10 and rupees 15 respectively, the remainder shall be in the ratio 3 is to 4 is to 5. Now from H share 5 rupees is subtracted, B share 10 rupees is subtracted and C share 15 rupees is subtracted. It means from the total amount 2430, the total amount subtracted is 30. 5 plus 10 plus 15 and therefore the remaining amount is 2400. This 2400 is divided among A, B and C in the ratio of 2 is to 4 is to 5. So A, B and C the ratio is 3 is to 4 is to 5. So the total parts will be 5 and 4, 9 and 9 and 4, 9 and 3, 12. So the total parts are 12. Therefore, H share will be 12 parts of 2400. So 2400 divided in 12 equal parts and out of that H part share is 3. H share is 3 and therefore multiplied by 3. So which is equal to 12 1s are 12, 12 2s are 24, 0, 0. So it will be 3 into 200 that is 600. So H share will be 600. But 5 rupees is diminished from his share. So we will have to add rupees 5 to it. So H share will be 605 rupees. Now similarly B share will be what? B share is equal to, we know that the 12 equal parts are 200 and therefore it will be 200 multiplied by B share is 4 parts. So it will be 4 to the 8, 800. But rupees 10 is diminished from his share. So we will have to add 10 rupees. So it will become 810 rupees. So B's share is 810 rupees. And C's share will be 2400. Total amount minus not 2400 but 2430 because we are subtracting their actual shares 605 and 810 minus 810 
minus 605. So this you will get it as 1015 rupees. So friends, A share will be 605, B share will be 810 and C share is 1015. Friends, I hope you must have enjoyed this video. If yes, please like it, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel so that you will get all updates right into your mailbox. But for any other reason you disliked it or any part you disliked, please share your views through comments so that we will try to improve because there is always a room for improvement. Friends, here we suggest you few videos. Just click on the links and view the videos. Like it, share it and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much. Friends, you might have enjoyed this video. Then go to thumbs up button and click. Then go to share tab and share with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus and many more. And to get the updates right in your mailbox, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much.